Hey, Glistening Divas. All right, we're gonna talk about today how to take orders in the, um, in the shopping room um, with the new My Parties system. So I know that with the new My Party system, um, everything is now mobile friendly, everything's moving online as we no longer have pure sale. So, but I know that sometimes when we go to parties, we don't have data service or uh, maybe the Wi-Fi um, is unavailable or it might be really, really bad. So entering it online is not a great option at that point in time. So, but I'm going to show you how you can still take your orders at your parties um, with the pay for order form. Um, I just have a copy because I didn't have any actual rule. Full size one. Um, it, without making any mistakes. Because one great thing about Pure Sale was that it was mistake free, right? So you put in the item, you put any discounts, it calculated it all for you. It was fantastic, right? But I know that sometimes when we try to add stuff and they want to add or take away that kind of stuff, it gets a little hectic and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't. And then it takes longer in the ordering room. So um, I want to show you this way that you can still be able to do it. And then you can just input the information when you get home into the COO in the My Party section. All right. So you're still going to give your clients their wish list at their parties. Um, you're not going to give them an order form at all whatsoever. You're still going to do everything the same, have them fill out the connection card, front and back, do all the games, all the things, right? But when it comes in the shopping room, you're going to have your order form out and you're just going to put her name, uh, first and last name and her phone number. Okay. Um, because you already have her connection card. You already got all of her information, um, that you need. So no need to uh, sit there and take the time to fill out the rest of the information. Okay. So um, then what you're going to, and what I like about this is that it does have all the prices next to it. So you don't have to worry about how much was that again. Um, only thing is that the Euphoria items is not on here. So you're gonna actually have to write the Euphoria items over here. Um, um, if you do grab bags, you can write them down here as well. All right. So um, you're gonna go through, all right. So say that she wants um, the body booze and she wants the heart throb. So you did your upselling and cross-selling to complete her experience at her part at, um, for her order. So you got the um, you got her to get the Hello Libido massage oil um, and the In Good Hands to complete the massage experience. But the In Good Hands also works great with her body boost because it will break up the fatty tissues while the body boost tightens and tones. Double whammy. Okay, the gloves are a perfect addition for both of the items that she got. Cool. So you got those on there. Um, also, uh, throughout me, like how many? So she says she wants a body boost, but like how many would you like? Um, one, 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 right? Because you never know and be like, you know what? Actually, my mother will probably really love the body boost too. Let's go ahead and get two of those. I would give that to her as a gift because her birthday is coming up. So ask, always ask how many, okay? So you added it all up and what you're going to, um, you're, you've marked it down. Um, now what you're going to do is you're not going to open up just your regular uh, calculator. You're going to download, you're going to have this app called My Consultant Up, all right? It looks like this, so you guys can see it well. It says My Consultant with the MC. You're gonna open that up and immediately it's gonna come up and look like this, all right? Um, with the line item, let's just go ahead and hit add line item. With the description, do, don't put the, um, no need to put what it is um, because we're just using this for calculation purposes, right? So we're just gonna put the amount in there. Um, you also see there's where you can, um, if you're gonna give them a discount, you can. This is the flat rate is actually the dollar amount. And you can also change it here to percentage if you would like as well, okay? So uh, we're gonna leave it alone. And then taxable, there's a box in the green. Make sure that that is marked and the quantity is one, all right? And then hit save and it will add it to basically the cart. So we've got the body boost on there. We're going to add another line item. We're not going to put the name on there. We're just going to put the amount. We got the heartthrob. We got the hello libido. Um, add another line item. We got the in good hands. Perfect. Okay. Here you'll see that the subtotal is 143. Okay. So then you're doing your VIP stuff. So if it's 175, but, oh my gosh, girl, you're only $34 away from being a VIP. What would you like? Right? 
look down her wish list, see if there's anything that you see. Um, but here we know that she didn't get a toy. I'm like, was there a particular toy that you were super interested in? I really wanted the hidden agenda. Awesome. Would you like to, hit like we can totally do that, right? Um, and then you can just sit there and wait and be like, yeah, let's go ahead and do that, okay? Um, so you got the hidden agenda and then because now she has a toy, you're gonna do your TLC, your toy loop cleaner and your toy tote, right? So, um, all right, so now you got the toy. Awesome, high five her, right? So she's going to get the, um, the cleaner because she needs cleaner, right? Right, so definitely want to clean and disinfect um, your toy. Um, now on the toy toy, toy tote, would you like pink or silver? So she chose silver, great. Um, and on the lubricant, like the lube that we used today, um, that was a water-based one, the Euphoria and the beautiful bottle that you don't have to hide next to your nightstand. Yeah, cool. So because it's a Euphoria item, you have to write it down on the right-hand side. Um, so we put 39, perfect. So now you're gonna add the rest of those items in here. So we've got the cleaner, we've got the toy tote, and we've got the lube. Now one thing that you can also do is an enhancement gel, which would be great with a head agenda, right? Uh-huh, okay, so. All right, and the hidden agenda. All right, so now we've got the, what I do also love, it says how many items that she got. So you can also double check on here how many items, okay? Um, cool, now this is her total of 365, right? Okay, so now you're like, oh my God, girl, you're an elite VIP. I am so excited for you, great job, high five her. Um, because now you're an elite uh, VIP, you get to choose any additional item you want for 20% off. What would you like? I noticed that you um, haven't gotten coochie. Have you tried my coochie before? No, actually, you know what? That would be great. I would love to try your coochie. Fantastic. Get her, 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 her scent um, and then mark it on here. So we're going to add another line item. It is 22. So here we have the percentage and you're just going to put in here 20%. It is still taxable. She still just wants one and you hit save. And then here you will see that it says discount right here, 20%. And the discount is right down here. This is where you'll actually have to open up your cal calculator and do 22 minus 440 and then write the 1760 on the order form. Okay. So, um, now we got that okay so all right so now we have um now there's a spot with the shipping so add the shipping we have it at eight dollars okay and then the sales tax you're going to put eight uh, eight percent whatever your percentage is okay so i'm just going to put eight percent for here so this actually now tells you the shipping is eight and then how much the sales tax was which is 31.25 Perfect, okay? So now all you have to do is just transfer it over. The subtotal is 382.60 after the discount, right? You see after the discount. Um, $8 is already on there. I just transfer the sales tax amount here and then transfer the grand total amount. Perfect, done, okay? Um, and then on your order form, you'll see that there is a column that says open. That means that product is open as in open back order. So that item is on back order. You can put a check mark or whatever indication that you want, or even better yet, get a highlighter and highlight the items that you don't have on hand that she knows or that you know that you don't have on hand, okay? So she's gonna get the yellow copy. So you definitely do make an indication or, or something um, letting her know that those items are on back order on your side, highlight, because you get to keep the white copy, which is on top, um, and the highlighter doesn't go through onto the yellow copy, okay? So indicate it on here and then highlight it, all right? Um, now what's really cool is that here, this says there's nine items. So you can count, make sure that you have nine things marked on the order form. Um, now you have two check marks, so that way you know you don't have two of them. So you can double check and make sure there are seven items in her bag, okay? So, and... Uh, we got it. Okay, perfect. 
then all you got to do then is that when you get home, you can now enter all of this information into the COO in the My Party section. Um, what I would personally do, since you've highlighted the back order items, I would then, when you're at home, fill in her address. So that way, when the order comes in, you already have all the information that you need from her um, and where to mail it. So that way, and her phone number, so you can text her the, um, the delivery confirmation, the tracking number, all that kind of stuff. Um, on here, and then you could then put this separately because you have your connection cards that you're going to put in the boxes of where they need to go for your follow up system. Okay. So, um, all right, now for the hostess. Okay, so now you have all these orders. You will need to um, open up your calculator, everything in the subtotal. Okay, remember your subtotal is already with a discount already given. Okay. Um, you're going to take all the subtotal amounts and you are then going to um, multiply it by 0.1, which is 10%, um, unless your calculator has where you can hit 10 and then hit the percent sign, okay? That is our hostess credit. So um, after every single one of these, you're just going to hit delete and just start over, okay? You're not, there's no need to save any of it. Um, but we're going to, for this purpose here for a hostess, we're just going to use the same one that we had. So say that um, her party was $390, okay? So $39. So I'm going to take one of the, um, well, sorry, we'll just say that her, her party was $450, which means she gets $45 in free. So we're going to use this as one of her items, so 39. So we're gonna put 39 and put flat rate, okay? Cause that's gonna be the discount and hit save. Here you'll see that it says, discount $39 for that $39 item, and it adds it down here. Oops, okay, oops, okay. You'll see down here in the in the um, discount that it is added up together. Well, well yeah, there it is, okay. Um, so $45, but 39, so she still has $6 left. So let's just go ahead and put it on item number six and put the remaining $6 flat rate, okay, hit save. Um, right here. Okay. So now you'll see that the subtotal, okay, is this amount. So this is the product. So only for the hostess, what I on here, where it says product total, I would put the product total as the top number. Okay. Her hostess credit is going to be down here. Um, and that is hostess credit plus any discounts that you might have given her because there's a 20% item and then there her, is her free. So put that um, in the hostess credit, okay? Or um, you can put 45 there in the difference in your hostess gift. And then of course, then that is her, her total itself. I'm sorry, scroll down, um, scroll down because it adds the tax, adds the shipping. Um, you just tally it right over because it already calculates it for you and then write down the hostess total due, okay? Um, easy peasy, right? So that way then all you gotta do then is go home, go to your COO, put it in the main party section. So hope that this helps you because it will make no miscalculations because you don't wanna overcharge a client and you definitely don't wanna undercharge them either. Um, so this is going to do all those calculations there for you, just like Pure Sales did. Um, so, all you got to do is put it in. So hope this helps you. Um, great alternative when you're down, don't have Wi-Fi um, or data and use the paper. So also a great way to check, track your back orders too, which is perfect. Okay. So hope you guys enjoy and rock on your parties.